Okay, we have two integrals right here, and yes, this right here is just a reciprocal of the first one right there. So do you think that this is going to be so much more different than the first one? Well, I don't know yet. So as always, please pause the video and try them first. Okay, in my opinion, they are equal in difficulties. So let me just do the first one right here. I'm going to let u equal to the denominator. So you will see that this is actually really nice because we have the e to the x on the top to help us out. Anyway, differentiate both sides, I get du equals to, this right here is e to the x dx. And to show you guys the cancellation, let me just isolate the dx by dividing e to the x on both sides. I get dx equals to du over e to the x. And now we will take this integral to the u world. This right here is the integral. On the top, I still have e to the x. Let me just write that down. And this is over the denominator, which is the u. So I will just put that down. And dx is du over e to the x. And the best part about this is that the e to the x cancel each other out. So I'm just integrating 1 over u du. And what's the answer for this? Natural log, right? Natural log, absolute value of u, like that. And in the end, of course, we put the uh, u back, which is 1 plus e to the x. So we see that this is actually going to be ln absolute value. Well, actually, let me not put on absolute value yet, because I see u is 1 plus e to the x. And because e to the x is always positive, and when you add 1 to it, it's still always positive. So I will just put a parentheses around it, and then in the end, I put down the plus z. And this is it. Okay, for the second one, I'm not going to do the u substitution letting u is equal to e to the x on the denominator. I am going to just split the fraction because I only have one thing in the denominator, right? So this is integral 1 over e to the x, and I will add it with e to the x over e to the x. And of course, don't forget the dx. And now you are going to see the following. This is the integral of, to integrate 1 over e to the x, I will look at this as e to the negative x. And then, of course, we have to do the plus 1, right? e to the x over e to the x is just 1 dx. And this right here, it's pretty much it. OK, let's try to do this in your head. I'm going to integrate e to the negative x. Remember. We pay attention to the derivative of the inside function. The derivative of negative x is just negative 1, which is just a constant, right? So we can do the following. I will first ask myself, what's the integral of e to the something? Well, it's e to the same thing, so I'll put down negative x, like this. And we are doing the reverse chain rule pretty much, right? So I'm going to divide it by the derivative of negative x. In another word, I will have to divide it by negative 1, so I'll put down 1 over negative 1. And that's pretty much it for the integral right here. And we also have to integrate 1 in the x world, and that's just x. And we're pretty much done. And if you guys would like, you can put this down to the denominator, and yeah, so I will put this as negative 1 over e to the x, and then plus x, and then we are done, plus c. That's it.